3 2. Now a man on second for Matthews. Through the right side of the infield. Here comes Russell sending him home. Throw to the plate, cut off. Washington State takes a 1 0 lead with nobody out in the top of the first. You can sit one pitch for for this pitcher because of the fact that he's had control problems and he again went to his breaking ball left it up this time and Matthews delivered it in right field for an RBI single Cougs take the lead. The one two into right center Matthews getting the ghost sign. Washington State takes a two to nothing lead on Iowa. Still nobody out in the top of the first. Vanderbrick continues his hot hitting. Stayed on the breaking ball and drove it into right center. Again, those are the pitches that he's having to leave up because he hasn't had control of his fastball. So as a hitter, I'm that's all I'm sitting on. I'm waiting for him to float that breaking ball up there and just sitting back and driving it the other way. Dancing at third is Colden. In the dirt, and Colden's heading home. Washington State adds to its lead, now three to nothing over Iowa. Yeah, he's having a tough time finding the zone. No matter what he was trying to do, McCleary could not get in front of it to keep it in front. Save that run. Rung him up. <laughs> Sixth strikeout for the Texan, Cole McMillan, including the last two hitters of this half inning. Washington State leads three to nothing over Iowa. Three two pitch, runner going, swinging and missing. Can they turn two? They do. Strike them out, throw them out. Double play by Washington State. What a great transfer behind the plate. Cresswell with a great throw on the money. Tried to slide high and wasn't having it. Tagged himself out in that slide at second base. The 1 1 in the left center. Giving chase is Vandebreak. He can't get to it. Off his glove. Peterson scores. First run of the day for Iowa. Keaton Anthony coming through in the clutch. That right there was very risky by the base runners because if he catches that ball in left field, that's a triple play. That ball came right into that area where this could have been a triple play because they did not stop running. What a great effort by Vanderbrick out there in left field. But credit to Anthony with his hot hitting continuing to happen. Give his team just one run here. Gets away. Here comes Williams. Second run of the game for the Hawkeyes. They trail now by just a single run. Tough to stay in front of this, tried to block it, and the ball just kind of cut on him to the point he backhanded it. And it like almost looked like it confused him on what pitch it was because it went back inside so hard. The 1-0 coming to Schur. Rips this one over the glove of Jack. Two Hawkeyes score. And Iowa has its first lead of the day. Sure was having a tough weekend earlier with his last two at bats. He's hit the ball extremely hard and came through in clutch situations. Got a fastball in and squared it up down the line. Just over Smith's glove at third base. Hot shot playing in. It got on him pretty quick. Love the sound of the game within the game. Well, the Cougar fans in attendance hooping and hollering, giving Langenberg a hot time when he can't 
find the control. Hall lifts this one to left over towards the flags. On top of the berm, High Hall delivering a high, long shot and giving the Cougars a tie ball game. Allow me it's, to reintroduce myself. It's four to four in Frisco. Wow, that was way back there, too. He shot him out to left field, got a pitch up in the zone, and then bang! Got him, coach. Let me touch them all. And that wasn't on the berm. That was over <laughs> the berm. Beyond the lawn seats at Riders Field. Sign balls from all four teams. Part of it is Peyton Williams lifts the first pitch of the inning out of the ballpark. <laughs> Promoting the auction and we the home run ball, but we will show it to you multiple times on replay. I promise you that. Welcome to the laser show. That ball didn't get as high as the fence, and that is how you answer one home run with another home run. Peyton Williams, now you get a clean look at this monster shot from the big man. Number 45 for the Iowa <laughs> Hawkeyes. That's <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's not just right now. It's been all over baseball. Brendan Shore, first pitch swinging into right field. Montez gets there. The snap. Great play by Montez. Here you go, and it looked like he was losing his hat as he was getting ready to make the catch. Blew off as the ball went into his <laughs> glove. For Iowa. Pinch hitter for the Hawkeyes. Tallman is done. Anthony Mangano steps in. The sophomore from Lake Zurich, Illinois. Third player in this eight hole today. McCleary, Tallman, and now Mangano. That's an interesting switch. Let's see here. Runners on first and second. First pitch swinging. Mangano comes through. Here comes Anthony to the plate. The, the Hawkeyes lead by two. And Gano was like, let me into this hit parade. First pitch he sees, smashes it up the middle. One of those watch yourself moments right there. Woo. Right back up the box. One, two. Two out, runner on first for Washington State. Iowa leading six, six to five. A chance for the final out right here. Sure, on to first, and that will do it. The Hawkeyes leave Frisco with a win. What a great play by Sure to come on the run. What could have been, right, Chris? They get the leadoff batter on, and then there's a base running error. Get another walk, and now you ended on that would have been a heck of a finish at the end of this game. But what a great play by sure. And congratulations to the Hawkeyes for their first win in Texas. Both teams leave Frisco with one and two marks on the classic. Washington State won its opener Friday night. An impressive victory over the Texas A&M Aggies and then proceed to lose to Wichita State and Iowa. The Hawkeyes dropped their, it's op their opener to Wichita State and lost yesterday to A&M. Finish things off with a victory. Yes, they do. We'll talk to our player of the game 
Peyton Williams in just a moment. You're watching the Frisco College Baseball Classic on Flow Baseball. The Iowa Hawkeyes beat Washington State 6-5 to, to close out their time at the Frisco College Baseball Classic. You see him there, our player of the game. First baseman Peyton Williams, one for four on the day. But Peyton, the one was rather large. Tell us about that at bat in the seventh. Uh, I was going up there looking for a fastball. That's what I got first pitch, so I just tried to put a good swing on it. Uh, ended up doing what I wanted to do. For a big man, Peyton, you have been very disciplined at the plate. You haven't chased a lot of pitches. I've actually been entertained by the way you've been able to approach the baseball. What do you what do you lend that to as far as your credibility at the plate every time you step up? Uh, we do a lot of work on being disciplined, getting the pitch we want. So, I mean, if it's not something I'm looking for, I'll take it. And if it's a strike, I'll tip my hat to the pitcher. So, I mean, just so I can be aggressive on the one I want. You're doing a tremendous job staying focused. Uh, do you want to take questions from any of those other reporters who uh, have big microphones in your faces? Uh, no, I think they're good down here. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, let's talk about the catch along the first base side as well, just staying with it, wind whipping around, and you were able to keep your concentration and make the grab as uh, we're going to show it to the people again while you talk about it. Uh, so, I mean, I kind of just knew the wind was blowing it back in, so I kind of just tried to get to the wall and uh, see if it'll blow back to me, and I guess it's close enough. All right, we're going to pull it up again right now, Mr. Harge. Here it is in all its glory along the right field side, just past the Washington State dugout, and you went into the expensive seats. It costs quite a bit to watch a ball game from there. <laughs> Way to go, big man. I'm proud of you, and that, and that ball that you hit yesterday or Friday was impressive, but that one today... Straight away center field. That's some grown man pop right there. And it was really loud. That's what I like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Peyton. Well, you leave Frisco with the victory. Obviously, uh, thankful to not head out of here with an offer. But what do you see uh, going forward? You go back home a few weeks away, get to start conference play. Uh, I mean, it was good to come out with a win. Uh, I mean, we know that the first couple games, we made mistakes ourselves. We know that we can learn from that and build off of that. And so we know that if we just play our, our game that we should have came away with three, but we'll get back to it, get better, and so hopefully see more results later down the road. All right. Peyton Williams, player of the game, brought to you by Raisin Canes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy. He stuck with it with about six or seven bats in his face. We've had some good entertainment in these post-game interviews over the last couple days, Mr. Hart. Yeah, there's a lot of antics that go on in the dugout. And that's just one of them, man. I'm so those guys. I know that they've been working really hard, and the big man delivered.